Hello everyone. So in today's session, we are going to learn how to create theme tag for Node.js app on Minikube. In this article, we are going to cover how to set up Minikube on Ubuntu, installation of Kube CPL and Helm on Minikube, how to create theme chart for Node.js app and install Node.js theme chart, modify values.yaml, deployment.yaml and service.yaml in theme chart, then access Node.js app from browser using kubectl word forward. So this is our table of contents. First, we are going to create helm chart for Node.js app. Then we will modify the helm chart file. And finally, we will install Node.js helm chart on Minikube and access the Node.js application on browser. So let's see the prerequisites. First, you should have AWS account with Ubuntu instance. Uh, I already have AWS account with Ubuntu instance running. Then you should have Minikube and kubectl installed. Also, you should have Helm installed. You can follow the official documentation to install it. So let's install Minikube and kubectl. We are going to refer this article. Here you can see in Minikube system requirements, it says minimum two CPUs or more and minimum two GB of free memory. So I suggest uh, you to choose the instance types C3 medium or greater than that for better performance. So let's start with installing the Minikube. To update the system packages, Choose the following command. So our packages are updated. Now let's install the below packages for Minikube. Installation is complete. Then install Docker on Ubuntu. Yes. Now our Docker is installed. To configure to run Docker without pseudo permission, run these for commands. <laughs> To check whether virtualization support is enabled on your machine or not, run this command. It says no. Then install the KVM and other tools on Ubuntu. Yes.
Enter. Now let's add your user to Liquid Group for this run this command. And our user is added to the Liquid Group. Then reload the group. Now to download the latest Unicode setup, we are going to run this command. And it will download the latest Unicode version. To install the Unicode, run this command. To check the Minikube version, use Minikube version command. Now next you are going to install kubectl on Minikube. Run this command. Kubectl is downloaded. Now to make kubectl binary executable, run this command. This command moves the kubectl executable to the user local bin. After running this command, you should be able to run kubectl from any location in the terminal without specifying the full path. Now to check the kubectl version on Ubuntu, run this command. Make use the version of kubectl. Now let's start the minikube on Ubuntu. Use minikube start hyphen hyphen vm hyphen driver docker command. This instructs the minikube to start using docker as a virtualization driver. This may take some time. Now our Minikube is started. To check the status of Minikube, run Minikube status command. And it tells the Minikube is running and configured. Now let's install the Helm. We are going to follow the official documentation. Yeah. It tells what is home, why we need home, what is home chart, and how to install him. To install him, run this command. It will install the latest version of Helm. So now our Helm is installed. Now we are going to create a Helm chart for Node.js app. We will create a Helm chart, Node app chart for the Node.js application. To create Helm chart, we run the below command which is helm create node app chart. Our node app chart is created. Now run ls command to verify the our node app chart folder is created. Here it shows node app chart. Now 
to navigate to the node app chart, use CD node app chart command. Now our node app chart directory is open to list out the files from node app chart use ls command and it will list out all the files present in node app chart next step is modify home chart files so we are going to modify values.yaml and deployment.yaml and service.yaml files you can modify it in text editor like vi vim and nano so we are going to use nano values.yaml command this command will open the values.yaml file on our local machine We are going to add the image and service block in values.yaml file. So let's copy it. copy the service part paste it to save the file press control plus x press shift plus y to say yes Hit enter. Now navigate to the templates directory and list out its files. So to navigate to the templates directory, we are going to use CD templates command. Now the templates directory is open. And to list out all the files present in the templates directory, we are going to use ls command and it will give us all the files present in the template directory next step is to modify the deployment.yaml we are going to use nano deployment.yaml command this will open the deployment.yaml file now in deployment.yaml we are going to change the ports path so let's copy it To save, press Ctrl X, then press Shift Y, hit Enter. Now we successfully edited the deployment.yaml file. For this app, we are going to keep the service.yaml file as it is. Now we have modified the mode at time chart. Let's exit the directories using cd command. Uh, 
now we have executed from the all the directories now we are going to install node.js chart on minigroom for this run this following command and our node app chart is successfully installed now after successful running our workflow let's check for course deployments and services using the kubectl commands for checking for run kubectl get po command it will show the all the pods that are running for checking deployments run following command and to check the active services we are going to learn kubectl gets svc command And it will show the, all the running services. Now to access the Node.js application on browser, we are going to run kubectl port hyphen forward hyphen hyphen address 0 .0 .0 .0. svc slash node apps hyphen node hyphen app hyphen chart. 8080 colon 80 command this command is used to forward the traffic from port 8080 on your local machine to port 80 on the specified service which is node app hyphen node hyphen app hyphen chart this can be useful for accessing a service running in your kubernetes cluster from your local machine so let's copy this command now our node port is forwarding so to open the application on our web browser copy the public ip for id v4 address ST the URL section then colon and our node port A2 press enter and our browser page is open which says hello world to access the application on browser write the ip address colon port number in url which we all written ip address is the public ip address of your minikube vc2 instance created on aws and port number which is 8080 which we have used in forwarding node.js pod and welcome page will be displayed so in this article we have covered how to set up minikube on ubuntu then installation of kubectl and helm on minikube we have successfully created helm chart for node.js application then install node.js helm chart modify values.yaml deployment.yaml and service.yaml in helm chart and finally we successfully accessed node.js app from browser using kubectl port forward thank you